Hey guys, we're here again to present the SRWS-S, -S, that it will be the combination of the JTSC, that it will be the hotter unit, the PHS, the preheater, the IR preheater, and the RWS, that is the arm, the rework arm, okay? The main combination about these three units will be the following. I'm going to start with the hotter unit, and then I will be going forward with the different units. So in this case, the JTSE, or the, our hotter unit, is the basic hotter unit. Um, this same base model can combine two different hoses. It can be the JTSE, it's a 700 watts, or the TESE. It will be a smaller handle delivering 300 watts of power. There also, there's a difference in the airflow rate. The JTSE goes from 10 to 50 liters per minute and the T in the other way was from three to 17 liters per minute. That's important, why? Because you know guys in the industry when you're trying to rework any type of other unit, the airflow is really important in this case because you have to keep in mind that maybe you're reflowing other nearby components and that's why having an ability of being able to select the perfect airflow and the perfect combination, that's critical in, the, in this aspect. So regarding back there here, it's a normal hotter unit, different temperatures, different airflow rate. The temperature here goes from 300 F to 840 F, okay? And the airflow you can select from 10% to 100%. In this case, we have something amazing in this hotter unit that it will be the following. You see this little thing? It's a thermocouple, okay? This is an external thermocouple that comes with two modes that I will explain later in another video below. So this external thermocouple will be able to have two modes, the regulation mode and the protection mode. Okay, so once I attach this thermocouple here, you will be able to see in the screen, in the video below, how this works, okay? The main idea will be the following. The thermocouple that we have in the hose with the external thermocouple will make a closed loop between the hose and the external thermocouple, always making like a closed loop and you will have always the same airflow and same temperature in the component. Right now in this industry, you have hotter units that yeah, you can see the display, but you don't know what's the temperature in, in the board. This one, you will be able to control that. It's a really critical aspect in this sense. The other mode, thanks to this, is the protection mode. If you're working with any MLCCs, heat sensitive components, for example. Imagine that you're working with a QFP, a QFN in an area and nearby you have this certain area heat that is sensitive to heat. You can attach that thermocouple with a captain tape nearby, work in your area perfectly at selected temperature 700, but imagine that that area cannot exceed a certain temperature. This thermocouple will protect that. Why? Once that area exceeds the temperature, the unit will shut down, okay? So you're going to be able to avoid human errors I have much better control in your hotter process. Not only that, we have this unit has a uh, self-air vacuum pump contained. You will see here it has a suction pump with this little two guys here. We have a tripod, okay? We have multiple ways to extract the components. So this was a, a spring-loaded. So what it will do is that section will stick to the component, okay, it will stick to the component, and once it's reflowed, boop, it will pop up. So you don't have to be trying with a pair of tweezers, trying to lift it up, maybe lifting up the pad, maybe bending one of the leads. Leave it to the tripod, okay, in this sense. Not only we have tripods, okay, we have another type of, and I'm going to show you this really close because that's pretty amazing. This little cups, okay, what it does, it, you will be able to reflow only in that certain area. So what you're achieving here is that everything will be self-contained without being able to reflow something nearby, okay? Really easy, always the same technique, round, or if you have an arm, touch the button, wait, and by itself it will pop up. Getting back, that's the hotter unit. Getting back, we have the rework arm. This re rework arm, the RWS, is pretty neat, okay? Why? Because not only it goes X, like other arms, this one can go XY, 
when x, x y, that's you have a little button here, okay, and you can also move it x y. So you can set it up nearby. Imagine you have a board here. You were able to select here the certain difference area, and here be able to deliver really close to the component, protect it with our caps, remove it with our tripods. It's all, always a process. And at least, but not last, okay, I would like to talk about our preheater. Sorry, I'm moving here a little bit. So here we have the PHS, this is the IR preheater, and we have the PHB, this is the convection preheater. The main difference, what it is, the IR is an IR technology, as we know, the convection is a convection technology. For the one people that doesn't know, the IR has lamps, the other one is between the filaments and the glass cover will little by little exit to temperature. The nice thing of these guys is the following. This unit is glass covered, as you can see. There's a link below, so don't worry, we'll check it up. Glass covered, two multiple zones, zone A, zone B, you can connect both at the same time, either one or the other one. You can combine that as your, you, uh, as your preference. 20 profiles, you have four thermocouples, not one, four thermocouples in the really back of the, compo of the unit, so you were able to control even more. So imagine you can have one in, its, in, in a certain area of the secondary source side board and the other ones in different areas. So as the unit reaches to that temperature that you select, preheating the board, not trying to reflow it, okay? It will start glooming. So you will never exceed the temperature and burn or toast a component. By the way, this unit, I didn't set it, you can go until 250C, 482F, so more than enough to reflow any type of alloy, okay? But it's a preheater, so don't do that mistake. So you can see it has a nice LED. If I have some customers that they always ask me, hey, Sean, can we put it, and we put a board on top of the glass? Yes, if you don't have any type of components uh, uh, in the secondary source side, you can lie the board here and work on the top of the glass. The nice thing is that like other brands give you that brightness, that heat that it gives you. This one, the heat will dissipate and it's really comfortable to work with. You're, you're not going to get tan in, in your lab in this sense. And that's pretty much everything. Link below, please, and we will go over these units.